Hello, hello, this is Stevio here, and we are back in Marksville, Wisconsin. Boy, is this a beautiful area. Just so many memories, if you remember, Grandpa passed away, and yeah, we ended up getting the farm with Sam, our cousin, but Grandpa's sister wants us to clean out his barn. Grandpa has been known to be a little bit of a collector. Grandpa was kind of a cool dude. He wasn't the normal Grandpa. He he liked a drilling, let's just say that. Uh, okay, I guess I uh, didn't have that backed up enough. Oops. My Grandpa and my great aunt were known to be quite the collectors around there. So they collected a lot of old time equipment, stuff I haven't seen since, uh, since I've been in the service. I haven't really been at the farm here lately. There is no telling what could be in these barns. I mean, these barns haven't been disturbed because they've both been uh, ill and not been able to uh, really uh, upkeep them. Start this baby up and let's get that. Oh no. Oh no. Looks like my cousin's here. Oh yeah, looks like my other cousin's there. So uh, some of the family uh, ended up just getting some cash. Let's say a lot of the family is still a little annoyed that me and Sam ended up getting the farm. Uh, but if you can tell, they definitely spent a lot of their dough. Man, is this thing. Don't get too close because these guys uh, are known to be a uh, little wild. Wild childs. Which might have been the reason why they didn't end up getting the farm. Even though this truck is really cool, I don't know if spending money on this type of thing is really going to keep the farm afloat. I can't really say too much because, yeah, I'm driving a uh, $80,000 rig there. But I earned that money and I didn't get it from my grandpa. This thing is cool. So is that Dodge I think it is over there? Phew. Yeah. They went away. Oh man. I was really worried there. Yeah. Family. It's hard living with them sometimes. Really don't have too far to go. Just down the road a little bit. Of course. Ooh, what do we got here? Looks like we got some spraying going on here chemical application and we got some more chemical oh look at that old workhorse uh oh uh oh uh oh watch out watch out all right all right yep uh i wish i didn't roll down the window that was pretty stinky looks like we got some planting going on here yep Start a wheat plant, I guess. What a beautiful countryside. Look at that beautiful area over there. Uh, we, looks like we got a John Deere Ripper or something going down the road there. Yep. I don't know. Was that a... That was a 60 series. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got some more uh, sticky situation going on over there. Man, I do like that Ford over there. Man, did somebody tell you? You're not supposed to spread manure in a cabless tractor. Oh dear, uh oh. Yeah, looks like we got a case tractor coming down the road. Oh, oh, watch out. Yeah definitely tell this is a dairy operation as much as they like uh, throwing their poo around here. It looks like they must be uh, having to change the tire on the old John Deere out there. Yeah, that'll definitely stop an operation right there. Alright, we're not too far from the place here. Alright, looks like we got another uh, harvester about ready to go out. Uh, is this? I think this is a turn right here. Yep, yep, yep. This is Aunt Betty's house right here. Ooh, and I think this might be the place. 
Hmm. I do not remember them giant pallets being in my way last time. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright. So this is one, one of Aunt Betty's first car. I think this was her high school car, actually, and she kept it. And uh, I'm surprised she didn't put it in the barn. I see in the... I see a tractor there. Let's see. I'll move this out of the way here. Pick that up. Oh, what? Ooh, looks like an Oliver right there. Man, is that thing shiny? Is that an old Jeep in the back over there? Can't really make out anything more that Oliver's right in the way. But man, is that Oliver? Man, that's a good-looking Oliver. Not sure what that is. Well, looks like the manure is still spreading. All right, I guess we're gonna have to get some of uh, Grandpa's uh, bigger equipment. Back this up. Uh, let's see. I think I'll probably just end up leaving this trailer right here. Oh. Here, the Ripper's coming back already. Alright. Not sure where he's going. Looks like they, yeah, they are definitely changing that tire. That one duel is definitely missing off of that tractor. Okay. Looks like we're stuck behind the poo. Can we pass here? I think we're clear. Let's go for it. See you later. I'm pretty sure that's Farmer Tom. I think I helped him out one summer. I don't remember. Sure looked like him. Alright. Pull right in here. To the farmyard. Good thing Grandpa had it. Didn't sell all his farm equipment does still have a few later Tom wave at him uh, yeah we we'll probably need the John Deere looks like we're gonna have to end up moving little blue here Let's make sure the battery disconnect is engaged yeah a whopping 55 horses in this old this is a uh, best chore tractor. Love Little Blue. Little Blue can always get it done. I think uh, Little Blue probably has more hours than some of the bigger tractors around here. Uh, can we get around here? There we go. Alright, check the oil. Uh, does this have a battery disconnect? I'm not for sure. Alright. I'm gonna start warming this old girl up. Man, oh man. Grandpa keep his tractors in mint condition. Alright. This is Grandpa's biggest tractor. 4955. Of course, Grandpa's pride and joy. He's 64 Ford here. Yep. We're gonna use her over here. Start up. Right, let's go over here and get this uh, trailer. Back her up. All right, got her lined up. Get in here. Make sure I do not hit our blower there. Watch out for this post here, too. Alright. Alright. There we go. Probably could have moved a little blue a little bit farther ahead. Alright, we're going to take off this grapple here. Alright. Move them in quickly. Alright. I love how these are extend and move from the cab. Makes it convenient. 
Alright, the three axle trailer is loaded. Let's strap this girl down and uh, get her get her over there. Man oh man, does Grandpa's 64 Ford look good. Alright, watch out for these crazy bull. Looks like we got an, another load of poo coming by. We gotta wait for her to come by. Oh, that, never mind, that's Tom. I don't know why I'm calling it her. Sorry, Tom. Forgive me. Alright, we are clear to go. It's like the sprayer filled up over there. Yeah, I think we could have put a little bit more uh, weight on the bumper here. Oh, uh, yep. The farmer's out there planting now. Man, this thing sounds like it's gonna blow up when it's going down the road. Guess it looks good. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Oh man, I like that Jeep right there. That thing looks good. Ooh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Uh, we got the Magnum. Come around here. Uh, are you turning? Okay. Guess he's turning. All right, Ooh, man. All right, she made her. She didn't blow up. She sure sounded like it. She didn't blow up though. All right, let's get in here. Oh, yeah, this is uh, this is quite the little steep entrance driveway. Hopefully these pallets ain't loaded down. Uh oh, she lifting the back end up. Oh, let's get her up. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got her up very carefully. Yeah, they definitely didn't want no one, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting into their, uh, barn here. That probably means there's a lot of nice things around here. I would think. Definitely a unique way to make sure no one uh, breaks into your barn. And I have heard there's been a few break-ins around this area, so means they're in the old age, can't get around very good. They probably thought they're number one victims, so it's probably a smart thing. Definitely getting the bouncy seat working here. Probably should have put some uh, heavy piece of uh, three-point equipment on the back of this thing to help out with the weight. All right, now it comes to the fun part. Oh my goodness! Look at these old Minneapolis Marines here. Oh my goodness, these things are mint condition. Looks like uh, I'm not for sure. This is a UB. And a, a narrow front, another UB Minneapolis Marine. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't really know my uh, Minneapolis Marines. Man, they were way before my time, but holy cow, do these things look good. Water sure did a great job here. What else do we, oh, yep, the Super 88 here. Oliver Super 88. Man, is that thing clean. Ooh, somebody definitely uh, dusted off this old barn fine. Uh, let's see, the screen down here. Looks like we got an old uh, Canadian Jeep here. Canada. Canada, eh? You know, what do we have here? So, like I said, Grandpa was a little bit of a drilling junkie. This looks like... A Moab ripping machine here. Wow, that thing looks fun. Man, what do we have? It looks like it has a big block of Chevy V8 in there. Hopefully that thing starts. I can actually uh, play around with it. That thing definitely is going to be some fun. Wow, you talk about a sassy massy. This thing is cool looking. It is 
Is that a V8 then? V8 Massey 2745 straight piped. What do we have? We got something up there in the rafters. Oh, yeah, it's a V8. Man, I love the front tires. Man, this thing looks beefy. Very plain Jane inside. Look at all them gear shifts and levers. Not a lot of room. Definitely don't have a buddy seat right there. No buddy seat in here. Uh, I don't want to start it up. Looks like we got a few wires hit going through the floor and everything, though. Got some little ventilation on the floor. Check the oil here quickly and maybe try to fire this girl. Oh, ho, ho, starts right up. Man, that will definitely be a tractor on the farm once we get some land purchased around here. Oh, yep, Tom's still running over there. All right, what do we have here? A Chevelle SS? Oh, yeah. Grandpa always liked going to the racetrack. Looks like he got into a little bit of a fender bender here on the side. I don't know if this thing last time... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this thing has a 427 in it. Yeah, big block Chevy. SS. Ooh, man. I never got to drive it down the track, but I got to ride a few times with Grandpa. Man, was that... Uh, beautiful memory now this is grandpa's one of my favorite old farm trucks here so Dodge Ram here yep we are completely dead either the batteries unhooked or that battery we need a new battery or charge one or two yeah what the heck we got something else up there in the rafters too Man, I can't wait to get all these uh, tractors out of here. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the beautiful Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. She started up. I just had to drive her. Couldn't wait any longer. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure she's not street legal, but who cares? Oh, man. This is going to be fun. If you guys want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Game PCs. They make a PC for anybody. Just check them out. They will uh, customize any PC specially made, or you can just select their already pre-made versions. Use code SQUAD and save a ton. Thank you all. Uh, thank you to the modder that sent me these. So, uh, Bean from uh, Discord, 